everyone, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel. And today what I have for you guys is just a really easy hair tutorial um, that's perfect for really any type of hair. If you have thin hair, thicker hair, um, if it's kind of second or third day hair, this is really great. Mine is on its third day, so I'll definitely, this will be the last day for it, and then tonight I will wash it. Um, but it's just straight, it's kind of messy, I don't know, it's looking like lifeless and ugly. So this is a great go-to hairstyle for me. You guys know I wear my hair like this a bunch when I film just because I think it looks still pulled together and really clean looking. Um, and it doesn't really take much time at all. So if you're in a rush, this is really great. Um, I feel like the key to wearing this hairstyle is really the shape you get around your head, not so much what the bun looks like in the back. Um, but I'm going to show you guys what you need or what I like to use to achieve this look. And it's pretty simple. I'm sure you guys all have these things already in your bathroom. Um, I've already sprayed my hair with dry shampoo and I use the Pantene Pro-V Blowout Extender. Um, I've really been liking this. I know some of you guys said that your nozzle was breaking. So far I haven't experienced that. I've been really happy with it. I do feel like it extends my hair and kind of amps it up a little bit more. It gives me more volume and kind of holds the texture in my hair, which I really like, especially for a style like this. Um, I do really enjoy the scent of it. It just smells really fresh and clean and isn't overpowering. Um, so I've really been loving that so far. The next thing you will need is just some hairspray. This is my favorite. I've talked about this a couple times before. It's just the John Frieda Frizzies. I love this stuff because I feel like it really holds my hair. I don't mind the scent of it. I just think it's the perfect hairspray and I really cannot even count the amount of bottles I've gone through of this. So this I love. Um, just a couple bobby pins, especially if your hair is a little bit shorter than mine. Um, in the back, my hair is long again. My hair does grow relatively quickly, um, which I am really lucky to have that, but the back kind of grows out pretty fast when so my hair loses its shape of that angled. So this is my hair in the back. It's a little bit longer, so I can easily get my hair in a low ponytail without any pieces like sticking out of the bottom. Um, but just a couple bobby pins in case. Um, I always get mine in the big container at Sally's. Um, I feel like they are tight and they hold your hair and you get a ton of them. So every few months I'll just buy a container of those because I feel like I always lose them. Um, and then just some hair ties. These are just the Goody um, brands with no metal obviously on them. And a teasing brush. This is my favorite one, also from Sally's. And that's all you will need to do this look. So first what I'm going to do is just tease all my hair and then I'll show you how to put it up. smoothed it out with my teasing brush um, which is really helpful that's why I really like this brush because you can kind of smooth out your hair and tease it all in one brush um, but I always part my hair on this side and you guys can just see that that's just where my hair naturally falls um, I do kind of get calicky kind of hair and kind of weird crimps and stuff you can see it like flips out at the ends but that's just because I have naturally wavy hair so um, Really, like I said, you don't need to have perfect hair for this, whatever you have going on. Even if you have curly hair, it still looks really cute. Um, now, I think the most important part of this is getting the right shape around the face um, and making sure you have enough volume so that you don't look like you don't have any hair when you have all your hair up. Um, and just making sure that this, like you don't get a higher edge than the other. Okay, so now that um, I can see kind of where the shape is, I'm just gonna take this back of my hair right here and just tease that up a little bit more so that I don't get a weird gap. 
um, when I put my hair back. And I will also tease out the front just to get a little bit of lift. Because this hairstyle is great because once you do your hair, I just spray it and then leave it. I don't mess with it um, at all for the rest of the day. So I'm just going to take my hair. You guys can kind of see my hair is looking a lot darker. I feel like I don't know if I should lighten it again or not, but it's kind of hard to see, I feel like, with my hair being darker in the roots now. Um, but I just have the shape of my hair being, like, teased. And then the back is just the ponytail. So if you have shorter hair than mine, this I think this looks super cute, just like a messy ponytail. Um, and then I'm just taking my hair ties and literally just looping it around. Okay, so you can see the back. If you don't like this kind of little bun with the hair sticking out, definitely you could pin them up and make it more like a traditional bun. Um, or you can just tuck those into the ponytail. Now I am going to just kind of pull my hair where I want it to get that shape and that lift that I want. And just make sure that my ears aren't tucked in. Because I feel like it can make my head look weird. Um, Now, like I said, I would either leave my hair like this or you can pin it. It totally depends on your preference. Um, I think it looks a little bit more casual if it's messy. And, but you could do like a sleek little bun if you have long enough hair. You could tie it in. Um, you could use like a little sock bun and do that. It would be cute. So for today, I'm just going to pin these little guys up. So they're not all sticking out and it just gives me a, this really cute little low bun um, but like I said I feel like it's really more about the shape in the front of your head and getting kind of that volume right here um, that's gonna give you kind of that clean nice look I think this is a great look to wear to work um, if you're in a professional setting it's nice to not have all your hair kind of like flopping around your face um, it's you know, if you're running errands with your kids, you could easily do this to like a soccer game with like jeans or whatever. Um, today we're just running some errands and going to get coffee, so it's super casual, but I think you can definitely dress this hairstyle up or down. Um, and I just think the key is to really tease your hair beforehand and then make sure you get like a nice smooth appearance and then really the back you can do whatever. So today I have them pinned up, but a lot of the times you guys will see they're just like sticking out and it's kind of like loose. Really whatever your hair does, don't try and fight it. If your hair wants to part a particular way, just work with it. I feel like it's much easier to kind of go with what your hair wants to do rather than forcing it, you know, to kind of go in a position where it's not going to stay, if that makes sense. Um, so this is the part that my hair normally goes on and yeah. So I'm just going to spray it now. And then, like I said, if you have bangs, you can definitely leave them down or, you know, do whatever. But I'm just going to leave everything kind of tucked and not slick, but kind of together. So I'm not going to touch it the rest of the day. Okay, so that's the final look. Um, I hope you guys can see okay. my I feel like my hair is looking really dark in the viewfinder. Um, but I'm going to turn to the side so you guys can see. And then the back one more time. And if you guys have like baby hairs like I do, you can either just spray them. I normally just leave them because I don't really mind. Okay, so that's the hair tutorial. I hope that you guys um, found this helpful and that it was easy to see. Um, like I said, I don't know, my hair seems to be picking up really dark right now, but um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope you try it out. It's really easy, super quick. I think the key to the whole look is just teasing it and kind of getting a shape that you like and find flattering for your head. <laughs> um, and then just the back, just you can do whatever with. So definitely short, long, medium hair. I wear this hair when I have had really long hair. I would do my hair like this. Um, I now have shorter hair and I just find that it works really well and it's just really easy. Um, 
So I hope you guys are all doing great. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.